ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the first Canadian Screen Awards. Are you people ready to pick Canada's next top pope? Top <laughs> of that entrance, isn't that insane? It's kind of like Peter Pan if Peter Pan actually did age. It's, it's, uh, and they, they had me so high up there, I could see both of Mike Duffy's houses. It was unbelievable. <laughs> what a night. Oh, people in show business are being honored. How often does something like that happen? <laughs> I myself am up for two nominations. And uh, thank you. And when you consider that I'm also hosting, I have a chance to lose three times this evening. <laughs> but I remember when the uh, Canadian Screen Awards asked me to host, the phone rang, and I'm not ashamed to tell you that my very first words on my mouth were, yes, 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 operator, I'll accept the charges. <laughs> it's always great to be home. I flew in on Air Canada or as Ben Affleck calls it, American Airlines. Uh... <laughs> Actually, I attended the Oscars, uh, but I, I, I must admit, I prefer the, America, uh, the Canadian award shows uh, because it's so refreshing to see faces frozen by something besides Botox. <laughs> And for me, there's no greater high than performing in front of a live audience. In fact, the only difference between you people and pure-grade pharmaceutical morphine is that morphine doesn't judge. <laughs> <laughs> and as daunting as a chore this is, I always remember what Kevin O'Leary said about hosting Canadian television. Always leave the audience wanting less. <laughs> Tonight is uh, more than just about getting a silly old trophy. It's, you know, it's really just about getting a silly old trophy. <laughs> but of course, this wasn't a great year for hockey fans. Um, what with the lockout and all. The CBC tried to uh, make up for lost revenue by renting out Don Cherry's wardrobe to the Pride Parade. <clears throat> and even they thought the jackets were a little over the top. And I, myself, I was so bad at hockey. I, I hated being body checked by another man because they... They so rarely call the next day. <laughs> it's hurtful. You know, I was going to do more jokes about the CBC, but I feel one should never bite the hand that sort of feeds you. Um, <laughs> the Bachelor Canada premiered this year with Brad Smith, who is here tonight. Um, Brad is a 28-year-old former CFL football player, tall, good-looking, from a wealthy family. Because that's exactly the kind of guy who needs help meeting women. Uh, <laughs> the Real Housewives of Vancouver was also a big hit this year. And I don't want to come across negative. Uh, however, um, these ladies are not, shall we say, the brightest lights on the tree. <laughs> no, listen, backstage one of them uh, said to me that she thought soy milk is Spanish for I am milk. George Stromolopoulos is here this evening. Not just a legend, but also the name he screams out during sex. <laughs> you know, th there are some great films and film performances being celebrated tonight. And as a little kid, I always enjoyed watching Canadian films because you were guaranteed some gratuitous nudity. <laughs> and, I, and I think we're all aboard when I say, Gordon Pinsent, you, sir, have an awesome rack. <laughs> Midnight Children is nominated tonight. Midnight's Children. It's based on the Salman Rushdie book. Everyone loves this film except the Ayatollah who gave it a two thumbs off. Uh, and of course, James Cromwell is nominated tonight. Woo! 
He is responsible for some of the most memorable film performances of the past 40 years. Although right now I'm drawing a blank. Uh, <laughs> Canadian legend Alan Thick is here. Alan. Alan is a legend. I know that because just before I came out, he, he came up to me and said, be sure to tell them I'm a legend. And, <laughs> and when I think of Alan, and it's not often, uh, <laughs> I'm reminded that we are like family. In fact, he was there when all three of my children were conceived. <laughs> I know that because I was out of town making a movie at a time. My dear friend Rick Mercer is out there. Look at that, Rick. You know, this too, of all the people that I have a fake show business relationship with, the star I'm fake closest to is Rick Mercer. I... And what I love about Rick is that he never lets his Scientology get in the way of his craft. I think it's a fantastic. And of course, the great Ron McLean is here. What I admire most about Ron is that he's not afraid to hit someone else's kid. I think that's a strength. <laughs> the Academy was thinking about adding adult films to tonight's ceremony, but, and, and, and I was opposed because, for heaven's sakes, I'm already nominated twice. 